Hello, 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 everyone. It's Kim from KNRP here in southeastern Manitoba. It was a beautiful, sunshiny day when I got up this morning. It is now cloudy and a little bit of a wind chill happening. It is currently minus two Celsius, but feels like minus six. And those of you who are doing your weather in Fahrenheit, it is 29 degrees Fahrenheit, but it feels like 21 with the wind chill. So Welcome here. Thanks for being here. We Today, I would like to do some little um, book boards for in the mini journals I've been working on. I found when I was, long story short, I was doing a flip through, realized it would be really difficult to work in something that small without a book board, especially if you're taking it on the go with you, wherever, whatever, you know. So I figured I would make some little book boards and a couple of bigger book boards. Hey, and welcome. Nice to see you. Um, just for that fact that uh, because all the pages in the little mini journals aren't the same size. So I figured, hey, Anina and Andrea, nice to see you guys. It's the Triple A Club. Look. Nice to see you, ladies. Um, okay. So I want to make some little book boards for the mini journals. I want to do them two and a half inches by two and a half inches. So I'm going to cheat. Sort of. Wait, I am. Yes. No. Yes. I'm going to cheat. I have an idea. So I pulled out some of this cardstock I have. I bought this cardstock because I wanted just brown, crafty looking cardstock. This is like a cardboard. It does not go through the Cricut nicely. It does not do well with die cuts it is like listen to that that's some thick stinking cardstock so i figured that would be great backings for these little boards hey belinda nice to see you and pam hey i was watching the pictures of your trip they were lovely so i'm gonna get them two and a half inches by two and a half inches this board is backwards let's uh flip it the other way so i can see what i'm doing not that it matters because I don't always know, right? Hope you guys are all having a great day. I am having a good day. I decided that I wanted to get a whole bunch of stuff completed this weekend. We're not going to talk about it. <laughs> that is two and a half inches, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, happy Easter to those of you who celebrate. So I'm going to do these two and a half inches by two and a half inches, as I said, because those will fit in the little journals that I'm doing. And the way I'm going to cheat is, you know that bin of ATC cards, ATC blanks I've got? I'm going to use those. So I'm just using this Fisker's cutter. Um, yeah, you know, I like it. It works. That's all that matters. Let's uh, try and get those at least square, Kim. Um, so what have I done this weekend? Not much. I worked, finally worked on those, uh, oh, ladies. You know how I am with technology. So I decided I was going to do my recorded videos of the flip throughs of the little books, the mini books. So I set up the computer to use the program that I've got for when I do pre recorded videos. And it was a free trial. My free trial's up, so I couldn't do it. Yay. Was I happy? Mm hmm. Yep. Watch me. So then I figured that. I would do it on StreamYard. So if you do a pre-recorded video on StreamYard, you then have to download it. This is what I'm thinking. You have to download it onto your computer, and then you have to upload it to YouTube. Well, so I did one, and um, I thought it worked out okay. I haven't uploaded it to YouTube yet. But I was very disappointed that I had to buy this other program because I thought it was free with my camera. It's not. Um, all these subscriptions, right? 
So anyway, I got a little bit frustrated after figuring out that I had to record it and download it and upload it. And you know how I get, right? Frustrated. <laughs> it was very frustrating. So I figured, oh, okay, fine. Let's just get those t-shirts and onesies done for the little boys in Alberta. So I was working on that. But before I was working on that, I started up the Cricut program and you have to have a subscription to use so many of the options that I used in the past where I could take two or three pictures and weld them together and cut them all at once. And they don't do that anymore. That's, that's now a paid for service. So needless to say, I'm not spending that kind of money because I don't use my cricket that often. And so I, I took the uh, images or couldn't even get the text to play nice in that because you had to download their fonts and each font was $6.99. I have thousands of fonts on my computer. I collect fonts. I love fonts. And it's not like I'm selling anything that I'm using them for. So anyway, I uh, decided to do all the little t-shirts and stuff in paint because that's the graphics program I use. So I did them in paint and then I uploaded them to Cricut and that seemed to work okay. But man, everything is such production and everybody wants money for, you know, I can't imagine how people on super, super, super limited incomes survive if they have to buy everything. Yeah, yeah, I, I was just dumbfounded, like seriously. Totally dumbfounded that I needed it. You know, I had the subscription when I originally bought my Cricut, but it was like six ninety nine a month. And then I figured, well, I'm not using it very much. Because um, I got it to do stuff with my kids so that, you know, for extra money, they could do some calf sales or whatever. I'd have the machine, they could use it. But that never came to fruition. So... I uh, let the subscription slide and then I didn't have one, but I could use like the weld and the attach and a whole bunch of fonts without the subscriptions. They do, they are bonkers. Yes, exactly. So I, I'm just irritated irritated about the cricket irritated that i need to buy um the program i mean i bought the darn camera i should be able to use the program i bought the cricket i should be able to use the program come on i mean i don't take any of their uh downloadable uh fonts or you know whatever okay that was my rant for the day i'm old and i'm cranky <laughs> you know Okay, so I cut out a whole bunch of two and a half inch squares because, like I say, we're going to make some little book boards today. So I'm just going to grab my bin of ATC blanks and I'm going to just glue random ones down onto these because I've got some interesting ones, some interesting backgrounds. And I haven't been making many ATCs. I have quite a few. And um, no, Joni has put the ATCs away for the summer. She's not doing swaps until the summer's over. That's a lovely blue one. Yeah, that's how they get you. Three. Got some fun ones like so next Sunday, we are going to have a uh, group play again. 
So if any of you ladies would like to come on and join us, we're doing things with uh, gel prints. So I haven't decided exactly what the challenges will be that we'll be doing with the gel prints, but oh, this is just like a tissue paper. Oh, the paper is peeled. That's what happened. That's very interesting. We're going to use that anyway. I don't know that I want two blues like that. Um, okay, next Sunday. <laughs> We're going to have a group play again, and it's going to be what to do with gel prints. The people involved, I will be sending the list out later today. I've come up with a few ideas that we could do. Uh, the brother does not do this. Scan and cut at some point. Awesome. I don't have a scan and cut. I just have the cricket. And the reason I got the cricket, like I say, is because I thought that it would be wonderful for playing with my kids, helping, you know, boost some single mom kind of incomes and stuff help the grandkids get some spending money but is not happening these two are the similar right i'm just looking for different ones there i got two more two more look i have a nice variety and like i say we're just going to be quick and dirty about this Totally quick and dirty. I'm just going to glue them down, trim the edge, and this piece that's left over is going to go in the bin. <laughs> you know that. Okay, glue. Here we go. You haven't used scan and cut? Yeah, that's just it. Like I say, I haven't used my Cricut for, oh, quite a while. I, I mainly use it for cutting out stencils. And when I'm cutting out stencils, it's, you know, I just do them on cardstock because we know that I get bored with things very, very fast. Okay, so I'm just trying to line up this ATC. Whoa, sliding. With the uh, cardstock back. If I find that they're not thick enough, I might just put on a, a piece of um, another piece of this cardstock or just a regular kind of cardstock. Hey, Sherry, nice to see you, hon. We're making book boards, little miniature book boards today because those little journals that I did because the pages are all such different sizes, I figured little book boards would be a wonderful thing to go along with them. No point in having something that you're going to get frustrated with because it doesn't work nice for you. You know what I mean? I came to this conclusion after I was so frustrated with all my technology stuff yesterday i had the big overhead light on do you guys find it too bright yeah that's the other thing right there was something that i was going to look up and it's like you know what i just don't have the energy for that what was it Oh, nope, can't remember. Mustn't have been important. Mustn't have been important. That was one of my mom-isms. If you forget what you're going to say, it either wasn't important or it must have been a lie. <laughs> Light is good. Okay, Sherry. So as I say, I'm just doing two and a half by two and a half little mini book boards to go in these little mini journals that I was doing. So 
Um, I just, I, I, I am absolutely in love with making those little journals, guys. I don't care if I make a big journal again in my life. Those little ones just make me very happy. So I figured since I'm on a kick of making them, I might as well make book boards and have a whole bunch ready to use. So as I say, I'm doing two and a half by two and a half inch squares. And I'm using my ATC blanks. Because they're just sitting in the bin. Going to grab some lunch. All right. I had lunch before I started. Well, of course, um, like we know that technology changes day to day. Like I get that. But seriously, for all the, the um, subscriptions you have to have, for all these programs, I'm sorry. Your program is not, you know, if, if I have to pay for it, chances are I'm not using it. Not using it because I've paid for it once and why should I have to keep paying? Like, so you don't give me the updates. Just let me have the normal stuff. You ate your dinner? All right. No, I don't have a laminator to laminate the book boards. That would be a lovely thing. That is on my wish list to get, you know, there are a few things I would like to get. But I mean, this is little enough that I could probably use packing tape on it. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, happy Easter to everybody who celebrates. Those of you who know me, no, I, I don't celebrate. Um, but if you do, that's totally fine with me. It's all about choice, right, guys? All about choice. This is a lovely orangey red. Can't remember how I did this print, but my word, I am so in love with the colors on it. I think I did a reddish orange on an orange paper background. And it just came out really rich. Yes, yeah, happy spring. Oh, yeah. use packing tape on small things. Yes. Well, remember I used them on the packing tape on the, um, <laughs> you know, those things, those long skinny things, bookmarks. <sighs> you know, you know, I do remember sometimes. So. I've only got two more little onesies to complete. And then that is all done. So I'm really pleased with that. Oh, I've got two piece, pieces of that here. Um, yeah. Two little onesies. Those are complete. Do these book boards, then they'll be ready to go with those journals. This can go back in the bin. I saw a really interesting thing on Facebook. <laughs> I live on Facebook. We know that too. There was a thing about ADHD and why people get so cluttered. ADHD people get cluttered. It's because they don't put anything away. And it takes two extra steps to put it away, right? Why don't I put things away? Upstairs, I'm okay. Down here, you know, I'm always complaining about the left side here. 
So now, you know, I've had that leftover bit and I put it away. So I don't, you know, I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. The Easter Bunny was super six mini candy bars. Nice. Ferrero Rocher, nice. But he is retiring. I'm tired, yeah. No, I did nothing. I didn't even get anything for the grandkids. Um, I figured they get enough treats. They've got their own money. They go to the store all the time. I don't know that I want to add sweets to their dental bills. If you know what I mean. So I did nothing for anybody for Easter. We're not having an Easter dinner because we don't celebrate. My one daughter will go to her in-laws for dinner. My other daughter also does not celebrate. Yeah, baby steps. Baby steps. So I am going to be considering this as part of that 100-day project because I am so far behind. And we're going to use a whole bunch of stuff that I haven't used in a very long time to decorate these up. Because even though <laughs> I know I have to clean things up, I have stacks of like little bits on the side desk. So I had printed off some of my fan trashy flowers. There's one, one sitting beside me, stick me out of the pile here. So that's gonna go on one of the cards. And then maybe some uh, flutters or something. I don't know. Don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to put these down. Then I am going to do with some metallic paint through a stencil randomly on these. Oh, that's curly. I'm going to have to put something on that. Hey, guys, want to stand on this for me? Thanks. It's not heavy enough. Not heavy enough. Well, that doesn't help me. What can I put on this? This is heavy. There. But it doesn't cover all the corners, and it's the corners that are lifting. I will have to. What am I going to do? Paper. Uh, you know what I'm going to do. They tried. They did try. Yes. It is. It is. It takes time. And, you know, if, if you're in the middle of a project and, like, when we're online together here and I'm doing something and I'm pulling more and more stuff out, I'm not inclined to take this stuff and put it away. I just am not. Because what if I need it again? I've been trying to figure out a way to keep my area to a low roar. Um, just have small bins of things. And then once the small bins are empty, I can go and refill them from my copious amounts of stuff over there, right? So... I was thinking that, um, oh, look, <laughs> these are all different sizes, Kim. Uh, what? Then if I had like little shelves beside me where I could put all like some buttons and some embroidery floss and 
you know, that kind of stuff that we use, sequins, small containers, you know, maybe like these containers, and then I could just go to the big bins and fill them. Yes, and definitely, definitely. And we get sidetracked because something new will come out and we have to try it. Have to try it. You know, it's, it's very important that we try every single art and craft that comes out. And I have learned now that I will try and do things with what I've got before I buy all the supplies for it, if that makes sense. Labels? Um, maybe. I like these ones here with the clear lids. And I have a bunch of those. The other thing I've found that I really like are these ice cube trays with the lids. They hold nice, really little, little things. And we all know I like the tiny bits. It's what I'm all about. Labels dissolve in water. I haven't heard of those. Okay, so we're going to trim these down. Oh, see, I still have vi uh, vinyl plastic backing stuff stuck to my scissors. It was stuck to me. It won't go in the garbage. Yeah, and then I found that I was having real difficulty breathing. So I'm not sure that... Pressing vinyl is, is very good for me anymore. Not that it was ever very good for me, but that's going to go in the garbage. It doesn't really have much of anything on it. Who's taking bets today? Yeah, you know, my uh, nephew's wife came over and her and her daughter organized so beautiful for me. But uh, that was a couple of years ago, and they haven't been back to visit. <laughs> so, of course, it's absolute chaos. These are going to be cute to decorate. They're going to be fun, guys. These are going to be fun. And of course, all these I'm going to save because they can go in the mini journals. So, like, I've, I've got shoe boxes with the various things in them as well. So, beside me, I took an old shoe rack. And so, I've got two shelves underneath beside me. So, I've got shoe boxes on it. And my bin of the plastic stuff that I put between pages when I'm working in a journal, like for the paint and glue, so it doesn't stick. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I don't lose my mind. It's already gone. But I find that I actually know where things are. <laughs> when I start organizing stuff, I have to put big, bright colored labels on. And I mean, I take like construction paper or something with huge black markers to write what's in there because my word, I never find anything once I started organizing. And it's not that I organize in a just organized manner. At least I don't think I do. Well, I'm going to have lots. I'm just rambling on here. Your labels have to be easy to read. Awesome. That's a lovely service. That is an absolutely lovely service. Our libraries here are still fighting for funds. Our local library that serves this area 
is actually in the high school. So it's only open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday evenings from 4 till 8.30, like once school is closed. And then on Saturdays from 10 till 2. Because it's in the school, they have to be there when the custodians are available. But that would be a lovely thing to have that at the libraries. That's true commitment to learning and education. That really is. And I think all libraries should be like that. I'm going to uh, actually tell my daughter that because she works for the government um, and she deals with a lot of libraries. Let's see if this one actually stuck together. That was on like a piece of cardstocky kind of stuff. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, I mean, I try things, whatever's going on in our in our uh, groups. Like, I tried the um, grid journaling and that kind of stuff. I have tried, but all right, these can go in the scrap bin for the mini journals. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to take stencil kind of things, small, you know, you know the stuff I use, a little bit of paint and do some marks on each of these. I'm going to use white and black and gold, maybe silver. You know what? I've got silver. Let's use silver. Find the silver paint in the bin here. Although I have this lovely uh, metallic rose. Huh. I do have silver someplace. Probably way down at the bottom of this one. Bear with me, guys. I'm under the desk, digging through a bin of paint. If all else fails, there's the uh, metallic spun gold. I love the silver. Might be way down at the bottom because just because. Goodness. You would think I have like 700 bins of paint here. I also have a metallic green. That's a really lovely color. And, nope, that's just regular gray. Sheesh, guys. Okay. I can't find the silver. What the heck? Of course, I decide to use it now while I'm streaming so that... I'm making you guys crazy. I could have swore I had silver in this bin. Oh well. So black, white, gold, and hmm. did I put that rose out? I've got the green. Got a lovely blue. What do I do with the rose? Oi. 
Dress me up, can't take me anywhere, right? I just had it. Okay, we'll just use those. I don't know where those other ones went. You know, you just have them in your hand and you put them down and there they are gone. So I've got this beautiful blue. That's really actually a beautiful blue. I have a green and I have the gold and black and white. All right. So we need a little lid. Here's a lid. A lid. A stencil brush. There should be a stencil brush. Right there. There's a stencil brush. And while I was playing with the cricket yesterday, I cut out some hexagon stencil kind of thing. I think that's going to be fun. And what else? I just had a thing with stencils. Oh, yeah. Guess it doesn't have to be stencils, it could just be mark making, right? Some sort of mark making. I do have my stencils. Here we go. I found them. I found them. Some of them. This one and this one. Okay, got lots to choose from. Lunar paste? What's lunar paste? Oh, there's lots of uh, buy no nothing groups in our area. That too, Belinda. Don't try new things. Or just don't spend thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars on something until you are sure you like it. And I haven't spent hundreds of dollars on my stuff. Most of it I had. Yeah, I've got a few other stencils, etc. Um, I need a thing of water. Be right back, guys. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All my little cups are full of muck water, so I took the one that was the least interesting and dumped it into a gray one. Now the gray one's going to have to sit for a little bit longer. You know, you know, let's use green. Let's start with green. See, isn't that just like another texture paste? I'm putting some of this green down. I'm not going to put much out because I'm not going to, I don't want to do it on all of them, if you know what I mean. I'm going to put some of this little hexagons on here. I want the real little hexagons. This is just a piece of cardstock I cut on the Cricut yesterday. If I could do this. Oh, they just look like circles. I don't know how well it's focusing. Oh, it's a metallic -y paste? Okay. It's not really showing, but it's... You can see that they're hexagons. Let's try the little bit bigger ones on this corner.
Well, that didn't work very nice. You can see them. And there is a break between them, but these, these um, pieces between are very thin. I have to use a much uh, drier brush. But it, it does definitely show as hexagons. There, you see the little bit of shine? It's definitely hexagons. Gold leaf on the gel plate. You're trying it? All right. That's awesome. Okay, we're going to get rid of that. That one can go away now. And I've got these squares. Squares are fun. Let's just do some gold squares. I don't even know how many of these I've got to do. I didn't count. Did not count. Yeah, maybe something like that. Let's see. Oh. Mm -hmm. The brush is going to be really wet. Magpies and crows. Hey, Marguerite. Welcome, welcome. You went for a walk and left me behind? Aw. At least it's nice enough to walk there. It's not too bad here today. Okay, so I'm going to put some gold down on this one, and I'm going to do these squares. Tried to dry the brush as well as I could. Not convinced that it dried overly well. <laughs> Really can't see it very well on screen. It's a little on the cold side. Yeah. Well, our high today is supposed to be plus two, but I don't think we're going to get there. Really don't think we're going to get there. Okay, let's try... This has a pattern, but it's so faint. I think it was probably um, needlepoint canvas that I used, and it was a second or third print from it. You know what? I've got these cute little daisies. Let's throw some little daisies on here, because I think that'll be kind of cute. Cookies? What kind of cookies? It's funny because I was actually talking with my sister yesterday evening and she was saying how she's having a hard time finding um, wheat bran that couple of the stores that she's been to just haven't got it which I find very very interesting because I love bran if I make homemade bread or things like that okay so I've got some little flower thingies happening Message. My kid. My kid messaged me. So anyway, she can't find Bran. And 
So her daughter-in-law, or stepdaughter rather, is going to see if she can find some for her at a different store. I need to go for a few groceries this week. And it's not that I really have to go for groceries this week, but it's 10% Tuesday where we get 10% off our groceries. So I like to stock up on my canned stuff on 10% Tuesdays. Not that I use a lot of canned stuff, but, you know, 10% is 10%. My sister won't go to a bulk barn. Oh, thanks, Sherry. Odd shortages? Yeah. Again, we get these, um, what are they called? No yolk noodles? I don't know where they're made. But they're like an egg noodle. They're flat. They're about two inches long, maybe half an inch wide. And I use them when I make stroganoff, that kind of thing. And our store was out of them again. And I know I can make my own. You know, sometimes I'm just lazy and I don't feel like making things like noodles and stuff. It's an old lady thing. Bananas. Ooh. Is the size of our freezers, Nina. I know that you guys buy fresh almost every single day in Europe because you have the meat markets and the bakeries and stuff. We have huge supermarkets where everything is in one place and yeah. Yeah, my sister still won't shop there. Which is fine. I shop there. I get a lot of my tea and stuff there. Making sure this is dry. I'm using this metallic blue on this blue one and maybe this green one. And then I'm going to be doing, so that's gold green, that's the metallics. Then I'm going to use the white and black on the rest of these. You know, I think I'll use the metallic blue on this one. So I'm doing two of each shade. Maybe I did three gold. I don't know. You know what, guys? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just chatting and playing. They are the size of closets. Blah, blah, blah. I know. I know. Um, you know what? This one's square, so I'm going to use my... This is just hole punches, guys. I use the holes, and I use the... Use this as a stencil, and I use the holes on... It's a little smudgy. It's background. It is background. That one's better. Okay, so now these ones. Look, I have all this blue and green metallic paint. Uh, maybe this I'll have to... Okay, we're going to do another blue one. Because I think it will look nice on here. And we're going to do green on this one. Maybe green, maybe green, blue. They're both metallics. They'll be interesting. Not paying as much attention. My brush is pretty darn wet. Yeah.
yeah i mean i have a grocery store in the next town which is eight minutes away ten minutes away the other grocery stores i go to are about half an hour away but sometimes you just don't feel like getting dressed and going you know you just don't i'm gonna use white Well, I don't feel like going anyway. It could just be me. So this one's kind of doodled on with white. So I'm just going to add some white squares. This is just a piece of uh, latch hook canvas. And this one I definitely have to kind of punch down into it because it's pretty thick. It's not like a stencil or anything. Just gives like a ghostly hint. We'll just do a couple in this corner as well. We're going to have to wash this mat this week too. It's getting pretty grody. I haven't been very careful lately. Okay, so that's that. Nice stacking stuff on wet paint. And these two I think actually will be black. Yeah, you know what? Let's just use the white. Just use the white. We can use the black for something different. We can use it for a stamp. We'll use the black for a stamp. Oh, I was going to stamp it before I did this. Ha! Huh. Now I'm going to have to use little stamps. Not my stamps. Well, I could use, I could just do circles. We'll just do circles. <laughs> Kim's talking to herself and she apologizes. There. Okay, so we've stenciled. Now we're going to stamp. Hey, Maritza, nice to see you. I'm making little book boards. So basically it's just a little thing like a journal card or, are you leaking? Why are you so wet underneath? Um, nope, it's not. So it, it's like a, a journal card or whatever, but it's going to be thicker. So that when you're working in a journal, you can put it between the pages and you've got a hard surface to work on. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to do the stamping in black. Don't know what kind of stamp I want to use. And they're all going to get stamped in black. How about if I go and get that thing of stamps? We can just play. I want kind of like, not necessarily nonsensical stamps, but something because we're still going to put a focal point on, be it a fan trashy flower, a flutter, something. So I don't really want to have You know what I mean. Now, I'm sure we don't want this clothing, right? I've got all this really funky clothing. Socks and things. It's an interesting set. No words, no numbers. But little flowers. Not sure I want little flowers. It's just loose. How about, I've got that weeping willow. Where's my weeping willow? 
Or this ivy would be kind of cute. Roses, no. I want something more like this. These swirly things. How about this one? Because this should fit on. That'll work. That will work. We're going to just use this swirly thing. What are you talking about? Normal. Condiments in the refrigerator? Multiple jams and jellies? True. What we think of as normal is Exactly. Could be stamped in green. <laughs> the world needs more swirly things. Yeah. It, it does. Green. I think I'm just going to use the black. You know what? We'll try one and we'll see how it looks. Just a uh, Regular flat brush. I'm just going to. You guys know how I do this. Probably could use a stamp pad, right? No. We're going to use paint. And I should probably have another paper down. Oi. Scrap paper. There we go. Just in case this goes over the edges. Just something like that. What do you think? Because seriously, there's going to still be something else on top. You can see the hint of the gold stuff that I put down. I like it too. I mean, it's not super in your face. You know what? I'm going to put it on all of them. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay, I'll do three. And then I'll find something else. Although I really do like that for a back note. Exactly, Andrea. Exactly. I like doing big cookings and then having... Um, so I'm still going to use black, but I'm going to find something different. Something different. I have these florally edgings and things. From what faces? I don't really want the big flowers. I've got more swirly things. I've got musical notes. Let's do some musical notes. Piling things to the left of me. I don't know. This this poor musical notes one. Ah! <laughs> it still worked. Because a lot of my silicone stamps weren't sticking. Somebody said, put Vaseline on them and put them down. So I put Vaseline on it and it worked. It worked it. Worked it really, really badly.
I was not impressed. But you know what? It's kind of fun. Let's take this one and we're going to do it this way. Yeah, exactly. Grasses and dirt. Yeah. I'm well, not too bad. Not too bad. I did a couple of these. And the problem with doing it this way is you get black marks on the back side. So I will definitely have to put another layer. But I'm finding that some of these boards are still pretty flimsy anyway. Okay, something else. What's something else? See, I've got stamps. Whoa, don't dump that. These are the ones that I used Vaseline on, and they absolutely killed those leaves. Those leaves were so pretty. So crazy pretty. Hey, look, there's some little flutters and things. Flutters and flowers. And you know what? I've got this big swirly thing and nice corner. I'm going to use this corner one. I like this corner one. We all know I like corner things. I like corner things. Of course, I have to pull this one off. And I'm getting mucky. I'm sorry to those of you who it bothers. And I'm going to flip this over. Because I can't. Who are we, I talking to about feminine products recently? And how in, at the food banks here, um, I've had times when some of the people I've worked with couldn't come to program because the other ladies in their house had jobs. So they would get first dibs at the sanitary products and the young girls um, didn't go to school or anything because they didn't have things to to use Sasquatch Chronicles. Never hurt your stamps? Okay, that's good to know. Very, very faint, but it's there. Should have probably done white on the black, but oh well. It's okay. Seriously, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, Anne. Exactly. But here, like I was saying, the food banks, if you get 
product from them, you get a total of six, be it three tampons, three pads, six pads, six tampons, you get six. And that's it. So if you've got a household with four or five women in it, or even three women, come on, you know, brutal. Brutal. Okay. So I've got three left. One more step. And one more step. I got a swirly corner one without the flowers and hearts and things. Let's do that. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I thought that that was absolutely ridiculous. Six. So anybody who donates to food banks, those are really, really needed. Exactly, Anne. Exactly. Can't even imagine. Cannot even imagine. this way. Oops, I don't think I got it right on the card this time. All good. All good, all good. Oh, it's on the edge. We're on the edge. It's all okay. It's all okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, now, They've got a little bit of stenciling, a little bit of stamping. Now we get to play with, we're going to go and dump these in some water. I'll be right back. Just so that, you know, the paint doesn't dry too deeply in the back of these stamps. Wash some of the muck off my hands. Well, look, the lid's down. You better go over there before you get lost. Okay, so now I'm going to rinse this brush, dry it. So now we get to decide what we would like to put on these. Then I do think I have to put a backing on because they're really not as thick as I would like. So, of course, after I've done this, I'm thinking I could have just used some canvas board and done them because that's a really nice thick Next ones will be done on a canvas board. <laughs> okay. So we've got these, and I'm thinking like a fan trashy flower could be cute. They don't have to be overly elaborate. Maybe a fan trashy flower. I'm thinking flutters and fish. Chickens.
These are probably too big now that I'm looking at them. Well, I could go like that. No, these are too big. Even if I tried doing halves, you know, I don't think that these are going to work. No flutters. Yeah. Exactly, Marguerite. Exactly. Okay, so maybe we should do some little fishies. Maybe not. The flutters didn't work. We could do a couple of chickens. We'll do three with chickens. We need flowers. I think flowers is the way to go. Chickens, guys. Definitely easy to clean, huh? Definitely, I'd say. Oh, bows. We could put some bows. Everything's much bigger than those little things. Oh, you know what I'm going to use? Here we go. Never mind. We're going to use... I just saw them here. I just saw them. Did I bury them? I, of course I did. So don't know if I like the chickens or not. They're kind of cute. Mm, iffy, iffy. Let's put these stamps away in the bin. Because they're going to create a craft latch over here beside me. I think I need two of these little box things for these stamps. Okay, I'm just going to shove these away. Where did that go? I just had them, and I thought those are going to be perfect for using today. Ha! Ah. You know, guys, we're going to shake our head. And these, these with a bow. So, do I use the chickens or don't I use the chickens? I'm out of stick people aside from these ones. These ones are too small. All my stick people are used up. I'm going to use these things. Because I have a bazillion... Something like that. Maybe. I liked the idea until I put it down. I don't know that I like those little stick people on there. 
We'll, I'll pull one out and we'll try it. Not sure. This is where I run into so much trouble, and this is where I appreciate all your input. I've got Itsy Birds. I kind of like the Itsy Birds. Um... I don't know. I think if I had this dick people, I would want a word on there. Out of them all, I think I like the itsy birds the best. Can you guys see? Uh... I had diaper pails too. Exactly. One of my kids was allergic to uh, disposable diapers. I couldn't use them on her. I had to use cloth. Okay. We're going to determine... Which is best? I could use a variety for sure. Could do a variety. But seriously, I love the itsy birds the best. Oh, I like them with the flowers, with the mushrooms and stuff. The chickens need to be clipped in closer. I don't know. I'm just not seeing these uh, stick people on them, Belinda. If I had some of the bigger stick people, yeah, that could probably work. I think these ones, I don't know. Exactly, Anne. Yeah, the little stick people are fun. Um, not sure. Just not sure. What about if I did... Because those two are, are fairies, those stick people. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. 
that one totally gets lost. Totally gets lost. In the Got the big one. Okay, I like the fairies with the bows. I'll hold them up. That's awesome, Marguerite. What do you guys think about the fairies and the bows? Do I have that much of a lag? The darker colored one doesn't seem like it goes with the bow and fairy. Okay. This one? The lighter one's okay? Okay, there's that one. Let's, uh... That darker one's going to be tough. Maybe it just needs a big chicken. Let's trim this chicken down first. There's an awful lot of weight around that there, chicken. Well, that didn't work as planned, Kim. No, this darker one doesn't seem to go with anything. No, no mini cat faces. We'll low on those as well. I put, let's try this. I don't like that one on there. Yeah. Bye, Andrea. Take care. See? Kind of like the two things on, not just like the single bird. I think it needs something, 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 something. What about I know we've done frames recently, lots of frames recently. Mm, not sure. Birds and frames. You liked the one with the mushrooms? I like the one with the mushrooms too. And then with the little yellow fairy. 
Oh, we got glare. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of got a frame already. Maybe some doodles. Yeah. But the stamp, the stamps though are pretty elaborate. So I don't know that doodles are going to Some of these are really big. I need little ones. Okay, how about how about Um, do, 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 do. A little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. These ones go from the sublime to the ridiculous. A lot of these are really, really big. To probably go this. This way. What about those? Remember those doodle flowers that we did? <laughs> Some of the white from that mushroom? Yeah, I can. Pretty nice in between sized ones. Got little ones like this. Oh, that could be cute. Maybe a different bird. Just trying to use up some of my stuff, guys. I think I like that flower better than just a single palm, palm thing. Trim some of the white from this uh, mushroom, you're saying? I can do that. No, it'd be just as easy taking this brush and some muck water and doing the edge. Oh, yeah, that's better, Anne. That turned that down nicely. Better? No balloons. And then the fairy would need some as well. Pretty darn white.
Okay, very reactive. Much better. Muck water to the rest? Yep. No, I'm out of balloons. Maybe the fairy needs to come down a bit. Or down here. Okay, so that one needs to dry a little bit because the edges are very wet. Now, we needed a different bird for this one. Focus, camera. Come on. Kind of like that one. His eyes need fixing, but I can do that. Oh, thanks, Marguerite. Better? Do we agree this one's good to go? Once it's glued? Thanks, Anina. I went on a bitsy bird making kick. That's how I end up with thousands of one thing. Then I have to figure out how to use them. So... I really like this little bird with this flower. I'm going to muck water the edge of that flower, though. Because that edge is just too raw. Too raw. I like these two together. Maybe this needs to move down just a little bit. And the bird up just a little bit. I don't need these to be overly fancy. These are just a little add-in so that people have some place to work on their journals. I don't want this side to be too uh, lumpy, bumpy either. I like this guy just alone. What do you guys think? Of course, I can outline those uh, blue dots. That could do something for it, too. If I outline them in a white gel pen, we'll try that. The stamp on this is so hard to see, but I can see it. Is that bird too dark for this card? Yeah. Because you can see the stamping on it, sort of. There we go. But I kind of like him just the way he is as well. Just all by himself. Unless maybe you think just around him I can do some sort of a pattern, like take some um, plastic canvas, do it in a really, really light blue and just push it down so that he's on top of that. I think this guy needs a flower. This guy needs a flower.
or instead of that, see my little ones don't have much color. The bigger ones we did have lots of color, right? Like, remember, you can have to do some little ones with wild colors. How about that one? And we do The bird or the fish? Bird? Hey, Malia. Happy Easter. Did your kids have fun Easter egg hunting? One single chicken. You like the fish better? Okay, we've got one for the fish, one for the bird. I need a tiebreaker. Need a tiebreaker. Okay, there's the bird. Or the fish. <laughs> okay. You like the color of the bird better. It stands out more. I get that. We will use the bird and the little plant, dead plant things. Chicken. This guy has a really wild background. Single bird. Do we add anything? The fish aren't as saucy, no. The birds have so much character, right? Like, the bird's good? All right. So I think I'll muck water that mushroom. Add something else. To this one. You need something else? Okay. What should we add? The birds do have more carry uh, character. Art by consensus, yeah. I like that. 
Anyone else? Should I ink the edge on this? I don't want to muck water it, but I think an inking the edge of this one will do it. Let's try it. Well, and you know, I kind of like doing stuff this way because you guys all have a voice in it, which I really appreciate. But this way, I get feedback from more than just my single old brain. Does that make sense? That with you guys giving me the feedback. See, I like it better outlined. Sniffing the flower? Ah, certainly. So he's like a hummingbird. No, you guys are really patient with me. Yes, I'm taking that as a yes. Even though your keyboard's possessed today. You're going to muck water this mushroom. Muck watering. Just taking that bright white edge off the mushroom here. It's muck water. I don't know if you can see the expression on that bird, but that bird's like, oy vey. It's almost like he's rolling his eyes. You'd think he's a teenager. Kind of like this the way it is. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Okay, here's that great green chicken. He's being chased by a mushroom. Um, maybe. <laughs> chicken, no chicken. I'm not a fa very big fan of the chicken. What I do think I like is... Something like, something like this. And the fish. And the fish, guys. Not as big a fan of the chicken. You love the chickens? I think he was just too big for the card. We're not focusing here. You like that? I like that too. Just wish I could get it to focus for you. And again, I think I'm going to edge that flower with black marker. Hope I'm not making anybody seasick with my wobbly. Uh, <laughs> we have one more. One more. And it's got chicken on it, and I like that chicken. I will hold it up, and we can decide if I should trim some of that white off. I'm not bothering outlining the chickens. Once they're glued down, of course, I will run around everything with a gel pen. Uh, come on, fish. Stay with me here. You know what? I almost think I need a third fish.
Oh, yeah. That's what that one needed, guys. It needed a third fish. There we go. The flowers outlined. Why are you not focusing? There we go. I got focus. I lied. I do not. There we go. Focus. Needed a third fish. No wobble induced distress. That's good. So I'm pretty wobbly. And I like this chicken on this card. I think I need to just trim some of the white around the back and around the tail feathers. Okay, we're going to trim this chicken. You trim a chicken. Then we'll glue this stuff down. And what? I will outline and decide. Well, I've already decided that I need another layer of backing to make them really good and stiff. I like this little chicken on this card. I admit, I really like them. Do you think I should outline those dots? Those metallic dots? They're pretty uh, sloppy, but that's okay. I think I should outline them. Thoughts? Look, we've got them ready to go. Now let's put these guys away. These go in the jar. Before I start gluing, anybody have, like, should I do the outline of those, these dots? Um, didn't use any bows. It's a nice variety. Lots of uh, itsy birds. Yes, a home for a chicken. <laughs> okay, look, I'm putting things in the envelopes right now. Right now, it's in the envelopes. And I will file those envelopes back in the box when I am done. The reason I'm not doing it right now is because it's boring. How small is the journal? They are approximately two and three quarters by three and a quarter. So the two by two cards will fit in absolutely lovely. And I'm just going to throw a random one in each journal. Because like I said, I was doing the video and I had a flip through and I had that one journal card that we made on one of the lives lately. And it was really nice and sturdy. And I thought, wow, this is exactly what these little journals need is a book board to go in them. Okay, start gluing. Thanks. Uh-oh. What do we have here? Big glob of glue. Okay. Should I edge the chicken in marker? Or just outline them? Let's edge them. We'll edge them. And we'll glue them down. And do those dots. See what happens. You know what? thing is, 
if I don't put a piece of packing tape over it, I don't even know if my packing tape will cover the whole thing. Maybe I should grab the roll of packing tape and see if it's going to cover. No, my packing tape is not wide enough to cover the whole thing. I would have to use two strips. So this is not going to get covered. Um, I do have some clear shelf liner stuff that I could put over it. Like it's, but the thing is they could then doodle on this as well, right? Like these are many journals that people can turn into their own. So this could just be the hint, right? Yeah, clear contact paper, I've got that. But I also like the idea that they could just make this their own however they, they want, right? That just finished it off lovely. Now we'll just outline the chicken on here. Okay, chickens outlined, dots are outlined. This one just needs a backboard, another backboard, because it is stiff, but it's not as stiff as I would like. If I use another layer of this, let me see. Just want to see how thick it's going to be. You know what? I think it's going to be just fine. And then I would, of course, go around the edge either with muck water or a black marker. Probably the muck water because I've been finding lately I've been slipping and drawing on the backs of things and I don't want to draw on the back of it. I want it as clean as possible. So I think I would probably just do muck water and then if muck water splashed on the back, it wouldn't be as bad as a thick black marker line. So we can consider that one ready to rock. So we can put the flower down. Do any of you ladies need to cook Easter dinner yet? I'm just making burritos for dinner. Whoa. Okay, now. That got stuck to my hand, and I have a feeling I lost a little fish. Oh, there it is. Ha! Ah. Okay. Oi. Just a little bit of whimsy, right? No Easter dinner there? No, here either. Like I say, my kids uh, are doing their own things. So I'm thinking it might be a good idea to let the glue dry because sometimes it doesn't want to write 
if there's a little bit of wet glue behind, and then that's when I scribble on top of whatever. But I will outline that. I think that one turned out pretty cute. See, even though the muck water looked really gray, oh, I got some glare happening. Some, it looked really, really gray. It's really nice and pale now. It just took that stark, stark white off. Potato salad baked frozen pie. Nice. Nice, Anne. Oh, wild garlic pesto. Mmm. But not really an Easter celebration? No. Like I say, I'm just going to make some burritos. Can't remember. That was on this side on this one. And the little bird. You know, now that I'm playing with these little birds, I want to make more, guys. <laughs> I just don't know. Just don't know. Again, I will outline the bird, not the mushroom, but I will outline the bird. I like the idea of the wild garlic pesto. That would be lovely, lovely tasting. Okay, now I'm looking at this guy. I'm thinking he's kind of lonely. I think he needs just a little something, like just something little, even if it's like something like no 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 you know ah how about if he's sitting on a stack of books let's try it what have i got to lose nothing's glued down yet I think two books and then a couple leanings. These are all really little fiddly things, guys. One, two, third. You into into corners? Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. That would be good. Garlic pesto bread in a cup. What do you think? On a stack of books? Sugar, flour, cinnamon? Yeah. Well, I think I want this book actually on this side. So it's more like a rundown stack of books. Better?
These are all the books I've got left, guys. Guess what I'm going to be doing? All right. All right. So we'll start with the big purple book on the bottom. As I say, I'm going to use this for my 100-day project of using up collage fodder. And I will outline all this stuff before I do that, post the picture of it. Once my glue's dry. And the bird. I'll glue down. Mini monkey bread. Oh, hey, Jean, nice to see you. Um, I haven't made monkey bread in a very long time. Do you think I should outline those circles, guys? Those dots? Happy Easter, Jean. Baking book. Yeah. Maybe he's trying to hatch it. He's hatching a plot. in a plot. I definitely like the circles with a line in them. And this one's going to be smelling the flower. Almost makes me wish I had some of these little birds with their wings out so it looked like he would be hovering like a little hummingbird. It is a sweet spot. There it is. Found it. I have to be like four and a half, five inches away from the camera. Food? What? Food doodles? What? Yeah. Um, like I say, they're, they're just not thick enough for my liking yet as book boards. We liked this guy all by himself because there was so much happening in the background. Food doodles. Oh, monkey bread. Yeah, no. <laughs> Just trying to keep up with you guys' conversations. Bookboards, yeah. Bookboards. Any food doodles? I do not have food doodles. I do not have any food bits. Uh, 
um, outline that in black. That's one thing I, I haven't uh, done is flowers and frames and fish and birds, cats, no food. Mushrooms. Mushrooms are the only food. Trying to think. No teacups, no kettles, like teapots. No mugs. Isn't that interesting? No food. Found it. Ice cream could be fun, yeah. I don't have any ice cream. Oh, it doesn't go there. Ice cream would definitely be fun. I did outline the other chicken. But I outlined this chicken. And I'm going to trim it down, too. Um, yeah, I could do some fun ice cream cones. Or dishes of ice cream, like a banana split kind of thing. Maybe that could be a challenge. Tuesday, we are doing page tabs. I have not put a list out yet, list of supplies, because basically I'm just thinking scraps. Scraps and glue. Wraps and glue. Which is always my go-tos, right? Scraps, glue, scissors. I don't uh, necessarily make like those whales, whale tail punches or whatever they are. Because I don't have any. Into his characters. Yeah. Ice cream cones with faces and cupcakes. Okay. Here we go. We are not sidetracking. We're getting these glued. We're getting these glued. <laughs> so that the caps of the uh, ice cream cones and the cupcakes are the face no the, the tops of them would be hats and the cone and the little mushroom thing or the the cake part of the cupcake would be the faces hmm I can get into that. I could get into that. Oh, for making ice cream? <laughs> I 
I like this one now. The little fairy and the uh, mushrooms. This is the only bow. It's okay. Yeah, I need to make some more stick people. I need to uh, like bigger stick people. I've got huge ones, but no medium sized ones. I used them all in that uh, journal, that zine. Oh, an umbrella. Well. Well, well, how about if we um, put it on one of the chickens, an umbrella in the chicken? I like that idea. Why didn't I think of umbrellas? I dug through the bin often enough. Okay, I'm going to finish gluing these down. And then I'm going to pull out the umbrellas. And we'll see if one will work somewhere. Those ones, let's block this one. Why didn't we think of umbrellas when we were putting them together, guys? Crazy. I just have too many bits. Too many bits. this one. Yes, went that way. I'll have to do those dots as well, outline them. I think they need that little bit of a clean up to them. Oh, these were hex one of those. Nope, they weren't hexagons. Never mind. Okay, outline the dots and The umbrellas. Look, since I've got the bin out, let's put these other ones away. That goes under critters. Critters. Florals. Critters. Florals and buttons and bows. Now, umbrellas. I'm just looking to see if there were any more of these things out here. No. Okay. Those would be under here. Umbrellas. I almost think that they would have had to have gone on earlier due to the fact of the handle. Not, you know, that mind you, I can just use a big black felt marker for the handle. I don't know, maybe this one. I have purple. Oh, see, an umbrella would have looked lovely on these. Put 
later. Beach balls. I don't have any little beach balls. Oh, one sitting in an upside down umbrella. Ooh. I think I've got them too low. I don't know. That one could be kind of like he's hiding from the rain, right? That could work. You just have to decide on a color. I like the umbrella on there. Right at the beach. Oh, don't worry about it, Belinda. I'm not worried about it. Just have to decide on the color. I like the umbrella on him. This one really matches the bird. Let's uh, find the sweet spot. There we go. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Kind of like that one. What do you guys think? You like it? You like it? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a black line at the bottom of this umbrella. That's black. Black. I need a black. There we go. So we're just going to do a thin line like this. Then we're going to glue it down. On this guy like that see sunglasses you know I just used up all those little little glasses I had oh glue side down on the table it's fine Now we need the handle of the umbrella to come down. Come down here. Here.
So we've got the handle of the umbrella now. And this stick. On day 101, <laughs> need to start to replenish the fodder series? Yes, yes. Sunglasses. Okay. Do Where do I have my little glasses, guys? Do, 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 do. Of course, I got a bin of glasses. Oh, do we need to put an umbrella on somebody else? Quick. I didn't uh, do these circles either. Almost looks like raindrops. But I like him. I really like him. Glasses. Umbrella. Umbrella. I could put an umbrella on this one, maybe. Not really happy this this line didn't turn out as nice on this umbrella I slipped. This should look nice. That should look very nice. Kind of blends in nicely, goes with it. I kind of like this umbrella better than that yellow one. Yeah, yellow matches his beak. I don't know if I've got another yellow one. Do you not? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I've got this one. I like this one better than that other one. That umbrella? Because the bluish purpley also matches the bird. Hey, Maritza. Cheerful? Okay. So, again, we will put thin black line around the bottom. Glue it down and move the glasses out of the way because I could just see those going on the floor and then I would be very rude. <laughs> because I would not pick them up. Right, we have the umbrella. Now we need the handle. Okay, sunglasses. We need little glasses. Little, because we ran into this the other day when I was doing the birds behind the frames. My glasses are too big. Their eyes are too close together. Okay, let's put this away right now.
Look, Kim's being a good girl. She's putting stuff away. So I've got these glasses. I'm trying to see who they would fit. I would have to put another eye on that guy. But that could be cute. But you said sunglasses, right? Mm. So then it would have to go with some... black but basically i just have to glue it down and do black marker in the middle of it right let's try it what do you guys think like he's pulled them up I don't know that that would work. It would look more like he's got a bow on his head. Yeah, these guys aren't really conducive to little glasses. There's a little bit smaller pair. They're just plain blue. This is kind of bugging me because he only has one eye. Don't ask me why he's got only one eye. He's not going to have only one eye shortly. I don't know why that happened. But I can hazard a guess. the glasses are too big guys I don't have little little glasses I would have to make some which isn't a big deal okay let's make a pair of little itty bitty glasses This whole punch. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's try some hot pink. Some hot pink. Let's cut them out. Didn't we run into this with those birds that I couldn't split the, open up the glasses once I punched them? There we go. I got it. I got it. I could turn those into sunglasses. He could just have glasses, glasses, though. Somebody's got to have glasses. Okay, 
we'll glue this down. They won't be sunglasses, they'll just be glasses. He's got glasses. Yeah, I think so too. I think you need to be able to see their eyes. All right. Put that away. Put these away. <laughs> All right. Well, it's been two and a half hours, guys. Thank you very much for hanging out with me while I have been doing these. I will outline everything, and then I will post them in Meet Your Creativity and on Instagram. I will also be putting another backing on so that they're really good and firm. I will have to put them under books to uh, have them flattened as well. Lots to do, lots to do. And I will muck water their edges once I have the other backs on. I would like to thank you guys, each and every one of you, for your input and for keeping me company on this uh, crazy creative path today. It was a lot of fun. Look. There's 12. We did 12. Oh, look, I'll have to make more journals. What a shame. <laughs> thanks very much for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the input. I really appreciate it. Tuesday, 1245, we will be doing page tabs. I have an idea, or six, about how we're going to do those. You'll need scrap paper, scrap fabric. Uh, glue, stapler, whatever you want to affix them with. And uh, so me and my little boards, thank you guys all for being here. Have a great rest of your Easter day, and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye now. <laughs>